Now one of the reasons that Canadian fishing trips are so popular is the shore lunch, which consists of some fried walleye, beans, potatoes, and whatever other fixings you like. But it is delicious. And right now, I'm gonna walk you through how the guides actually make the shore lunch. Now the first thing is the act of actually filleting the fish. Now I'm not going to show the fillet first, I'm going to put it on at the end and if you feel like you don't want to watch it, you can cut it off before it gets to the fillet part and I'll warn you. Now see, you don't get fish any more fresh than that. These things were just in the lake 20 minutes before this. Now, while the one guide is filleting the fish, the other guide is getting the skillet ready. We prefer they cook with lard. They don't like to do it because it clogs up the arteries, but we're only there for a couple of days, so we're not too worried about that. Put it in an iron skillet over a wood fire. Now the first skillet is for the side. The side is potatoes and onions. Chop up some onions and throw them in the skillet. Once the onions have cooked a little bit in the skillet, you want to chop up your potatoes and throw the potatoes on top. You mix the potatoes in with the onions, throw in some seasonings, your salts, your peppers, your McCormick's, whatever you want to throw in there, and you mix it around and you cook it. While those potatoes and onions are cooking, you want to put the fillets in a bag with some breading. I believe this day we had the Halley's Camps breaded. I don't know. I don't remember what it's called, and we might even add some Frank's hot sauce in. I don't. I don't remember to be honest with you, but it's real good. You put that in there, and you mix it around in the bag with the fillet and the breading. Meanwhile, the potatoes and onions are cooking, and you're gonna start the second skillet that's gonna hold the fish with the lard. Now, once the lard is all melted and the grease is all hot in the skillet, you want to add the fillets of the fish, and you can see them. They're just burning in there. They're looking good. And you know that guide that's putting the fish in there? His name is Gene Holly. His family's owned Holly's Camps since the creation. And I want to say that he's been guiding for about 60 years, give or take. So I think he might know what he's doing. How do you know when the fish is done? When they stop flipping. <laughs> it's a little bit of combination of time and that if your oil is too cold, you can never get them brown, but then your fish is cooked. If you cook them too long, they just dry out. Yeah. And nobody likes the flavor of it. So what you're doing here is some a lot of times your first batch is your oil quite not hot, not quite hot enough, and uh, you end up with a little bit whiter fillets or not as dark. Mm -hmm. But if you cook them too long to make them dark, it's everybody think of golden brown. Well, then your fish inside is nothing but powder, eh? Mm -hmm. I don't like it that way, but. Sometimes people want just the crunch, eh, and not the favorite taste of the fish. Right. Mark? And that's a special way to uh, soak up the mm. grease from the fish. Yeah. Red's way better than paper towel. Yeah. In other words, you don't have paper towels. <laughs> See, you could be a helper. <laughs> well, I got a lot of nice clean yeah, towels that would have worked this as well, huh? <laughs> yeah. See? Put them on the holly. So I got a lot of nice clean holly ones you could have laid them in. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them in the wash for them? Oh, yeah, they'd work. Yeah. There's toilet paper in the back too, you could use that. Oh no, no, no. Yeah. no it sticks to everything, eh? Just, <laughs> well, I, I know, tried that. I know. That's oh, did you try it? Yeah, that's experience. I like toilet paper. <laughs> that everybody... Well, that way when you go to the bathroom, you don't need to wipe. Oh, that's that's the oil and you're sitting there, sticking off your... Good job. It looks good. Mm -hmm. 
Now, if you ever get the chance to eat with Joe Yondo and my Uncle Dale, do so. Because it's a guarantee that they've eaten what you're going to eat. And they know just how to make it. Now, the only thing you want to make sure of is you get enough to eat before they go back up for seconds or thirds or fourths or fifths. Breakfast of champions. Mm-hmm. Invite some wildlife. No, How's that look? Looks great, Joe. Let you know in a second. Okay. Oh, it's horrible. Now, on this particular day, I'm pretty sure that my Uncle Dale couldn't eat any fried foods, so he had to have a turkey sandwich, which I'm pretty sure he was not real happy about. What's the verdict on the potatoes, Joe? Potatoes are incredible. Good. Very good. My Uncle Dale has this thing where he goes, Mmm, when he likes something that's real good. So I have this rating scale that's based on Uncle Dale's mmm. And these fish usually get 10 mmm on a 10 mmm scale. Now I like mine with a little bit of hot sauce and a little bit of lime. Oh lime juice a little bit of lemon juice excuse me and then i also like mine with some pepper and then of course the tartar sauce what do you think gabe i don't like the burn morels so pretty much. good pretty you know, pretty good well, it depends. If sand and they come uh, put it in the tartar sauce oh yeah it's so delectable but you better look at those storm clouds coming in slimy Now, the first thing that you need when you're filleting is a good cutting board. But if you don't have one, an oar will do. So you cut it right down to the spine and... Yep, pull the backbone down. There you go. Now, once you got the fish separated from the fillet, you gotta get the ribs off of the fillet. And that's as easy as just putting the knife underneath the ribs but still keeping the meat from underneath the ribs towards the skin. Now, you gotta cut the skin off, and you just hold where the tail is, put the knife right next to the skin, and hold it down, and slice right between the skin and the meat the whole way down. And that's all she wrote. That's not so bad. 